The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Money Masters. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the Money Masters Show, folks. I'm your uh, co-host, Steve Rhodes. Tom will be joining us at the uh, bottom of the hour. He's doing an interview uh, right now, so he'll be joining us during the uh, second, uh, third, and fourth uh, segments of the show. Our call number 877-927-6648. Right now, we've got the Dow trading down 50 points. S&P's off about 6 Composite off three, uh, Russell 2000 down 90 cents right now. New York Stock Exchange, that what we've, that's what we have on my screen here. If you are watching us on Tiger TV, if you're not, maybe you're listening on a radio station or your mobile device, thank you so much for doing so. You can always catch an archive of this show on Channel 10 out there. you got the NDX uh, pretty much flat. Why? Because of uh, Apple. We're going to go take a look at uh, Apple. Apple uh, up this morning here so far uh, today. The NASDAQ futures up about seven points right now. King dollar up 17 ticks. Hasn't moved much during the last hour. Gold up eight bucks and change out at 16.83. You've got silver up 14 cents out at 31 bucks. Uh, light sweet crude flat uh, at 84.97. As we take a look around the uh, world, uh, you, over in Germany right now, you've got the DAX off 47 points. That's off uh, about six tenths of a uh, percent. Not too bad considering the over 1% move in our markets here on Friday. Uh, the FTSE down a half a percent. The Nikkei last night over in Asia down a half a percent off 43 points. The Shanghai was uh, off one-tenth of a percent out there. The Hang Seng off about a half of a percent uh, last night down 104 points. Again, our call number 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. Why? Because it gives you a better breadth of what is going on inside the marketplace. What we can see here... New York Stock Exchange, uh, you know, it's really trading in a sideways, horizontal uh, range here. Uh, perhaps that's what we're going to see coming into uh, tomorrow's election as well. And, folks, make sure you, uh, you do get out and uh, vote. Uh, I went ahead and did the early voting on Saturday. I got to the uh, site early, so I thought it was early, and only to find a, a long line. But that didn't stop me. I was able to get my vote uh, in and I uh, would ask that you do the same no matter who it is you're going to vote for. Please make your voice heard out there. If we take a look at the sideways consolidation uh, range here in the New York Stock Exchange, really not too uh, shabby. It's been in this range going back to, uh, going back to September the uh, 6th out there. That was that long-range bar to the upside. That was a Mario Draghi day, the high of that level. 8160 that has been uh, tested a few times there's a, a gap up between the September 6th and the September 7th time frame that is a very good level of support not down there uh, just yet uh, the low of that well let's take a look at the high of September the 6th out there the high is 816056 you're at 818887 out there that is on the New York Stock Exchange let's go take a look at a couple of the uh, sectors with inside the S&P 500 the S&P 500 right now uh, really being the leader in the clubhouse down four tenths of a percent so let's go see what a couple of the sectors with inside uh, the S&P are doing we'll start off by taking a look at the financial sector now in the financial sector uh, what you're looking at you're seeing this little uh, this little uh, trend uptrend that it has uh, just simply coming back to lows of June the 4th out there. The low June 4th was 13.30. Uh, the next touch point that you could put on this, uh, you could put the uh, low, which I have, is July 23rd out there at the 14.09 level. You can see that this trend line here uh, has remained intact even through uh, today's trading session. It's trade out at 15.82. This area is being attacked here uh, today. We'll see if it can close back above uh, that uh, trend line. Uh, it is coming into a swing point from October the uh, 26, 56 million shares uh, thus far in the first 40 minutes of trading, 14 million shares uh, to the uh, downside. So volume-wise, it should have the volume to take on that swing point. So it'll be important to take a look at where the XLF closes. However, if you just simply take a look at some horizontal support on this, the XLF really broke out on September the uh, 13th. Uh, that was a large breakout. That was Ben Bernanke Day. If we just simply come across the uh, from the low of that session, 
low of that session would be $15.68. That really also has been an area, as you can see, that was tested uh, a few times, has held. You got a little bit lower coming into September 26, but you can see the XLF really running into a couple areas of support out there. Let's go take a look at the tech sector. Whoops, I didn't mean to delete that, but uh, so be it. We'll come back and take, I'll, I'll put that in later on. So that would be the XLK in the uh, tech sector here. You can see the tech sector really traveling in this downtrend uh, channel. Uh, touched the low of that on October 6. Uh, tried moving up into last Friday. Of course, uh, last Friday didn't want to have anything to do with that. Uh, trading uh, traded all the way down, never got back up and touched the highs. Uh, when the market does bounce, and I suspect that it will, uh, what you'll be watching is the XLK as it moves up into the upper trend line there. Let's go to our first caller. Let's go to uh, Rick in British Columbia. Rick, how was your weekend? Hey, really good. How about you? Uh, it was a, a nice weekend other than just long lines to vote. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, I just thought I'd let you know. Yes. Um, you know, the way the economy is and everything is one thing. I'm, I'm not talking about that, but... Yeah. There was a poll in Canada and in England. Okay. And, uh, 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 about Obama and Romney. Yep. And um, seven to one, Obama favored Obama in Canada, and in Britain it was ten to one. Wow. And I think a lot of it had to do with the war in Iraq. Um, the Canadians did not join you. Yes. But we're in the Commonwealth with Britain, so you know, I mean, like the U.S., I mean, we're 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 pardon the expression, family, but you know what I'm saying. I right? do, I do. And You're... because they were in the war and there was so much negativity, you know, about the war and the fact that they were in there, I think that's why they like Obama so much more just because, they don't, you know, for the last two years now, they haven't had to put up with that crap. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, look, uh, you know, not only do I know what you're saying, I experienced it. Um, you know, I, the, my one of my previous businesses... I own, I own stores in the theme parks and everything. I, I used to create images inside solid blocks of crystal. And uh, one of my suppliers uh, for uh, equipment was over in uh, Germany. And I took my uh, business partner. He'd never been to Europe before. So as long as we were going to Germany, you know, we stopped everywhere. And it's just, you know, because there's so much history over there. And uh, this, was, uh, this was several years after the, uh, after the uh, wars had uh, started. And the, uh, when we told you, so you'll love this story. Now, um, my best friend, he, he, you know, he, he, he did his, he did his service in uh, Vietnam. He saw things that no human being should absolutely ever see in their lifetime. And uh, when we were over there, you know, because we're kind of outgoing uh, folks, so we enjoy talking to people. And folks would say, "Hey, where are you from?" And we would say, "The United States." So whether we were in France, Germany, wherever, and uh, folks over there, you know, didn't take a liking to us at all. Well, so you know what? I, I grew up in you know because I grew up in Detroit. So to me, yeah. that's like you know, the, you know, be, Canada in Detroit. You know, I consider them to be the uh, same. And uh, uh, and so I said to him, I said, now watch this. Next time somebody says, "Where are you from?" Just say, for, "You're from Canada, eh?" Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and he did. He didn't like it much, but well, you know, uh, the I response that, yeah. was totally different. Yeah, I traveled Europe and I noticed that too. Uh, Americans were wearing Canadian flags, but. Um, if you look all through history, the U.S. is number one. Nobody likes number one. Yes, uh, the U.S., there's, there's things that they regretted, but overall, from a real broad picture, I think, you, you know, the U.S. has done a lot of good in the world. It's just that, um, you know, because you're number one, nobody likes number one, right? I mean, it's just the way it is. I, I don't know. I love number one because, you know, the, because <laughs> you like to be number one. <laughs> well, I, the view from the top is always better, you know. Yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 look, you live in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Where's the view best from? Yeah, Up on the well, top actually, of the I, live, I live halfway up the province. I live uh, fairly sparse area where I live. All right, but still, you know, you know, you, you, I, I'm sure you've been up to the top of some mountains. The view's always better up there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I, you know, there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with being number one. You, you, don't, you just don't want it to get to your head and okay. abuse it and or you something know like that. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's I want to just throw before I go to the GLD. I want to throw one more quick thing out to you. Okay? Sure, sure. My father, my father used to have a sawmill. Okay. Yes. And he used to have six to seven people that piled lumber. Okay. Uh, per shift, right? Now that's you know, 12 to 14 jobs, right? Depending yes. if it was big wood, we'd need more lumber piles, you know, stuff. Yes. Now, now in the automotive industry, yes. um, the, because, you know, um, we and our children now are a product of, of technology, um, so many more, uh, you know, in production, like producing products. Right. Plants are, do, are 
so much more pro productive with less people. Yeah, the, right? auto, from an automation standpoint. And so what I'm trying to, what I, I never hear this. All I hear about is, you know, jobs, jobs, jobs. Obama's at 7.9 percent of one, it ticked up one, even though he produced 171,000. Yes. Uh, not he produced. No, no, that's yeah. that's for sure. Well, I, and I'm not sticking up for him at all. I, 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 I'm just being completely neutral on this. But what I'm saying is, in the productive, like you, you it looks to me like oil is going to really help produce a lot of jobs for you in the future. It should. The energy, energy, energy independence would do but, a lot for the United States. But what I'm States. saying, is, especially after the oil spill, what happened in the Gulf, I, th I think. There's nothing wrong with Obama being slow about it. He's, if you heard Romney, you know, the, the, the federal lands has lots of potential. But anyway, that's another topic in itself. What we're talking about is jo like producing product. Yes. Whether it's textile industry, whether it's cars. I'd like to see what your thoughts or the Tigers and Tigers' thoughts are on that because, to me, you're fighting a losing battle trying to produce more jobs because even though you got more, you know, there's more population in the world where there is going to be more demand, Plants have become so effective by producing with less people that it, from from that industry of production yes. of product, um, to me, you're fighting a losing battle if you think you're going to produce more jobs. You know, Rick, I, I think you're making the most excellent point humanly possible. I think you've got the, you know, I, I, I talked this morning on the 9 o'clock show, you know, there is a ancient Chinese proverb that says, uh, those who play the game of life don't see it as clearly as those who watch. And what I really meant by that is you're taking the larger term view by taking a look at overall what it is that you see. So you're, you're actually making the point that I kicked off uh, with the 9 o'clock show, and I think it is absolutely excellent. So thank you for, for doing that and sharing that uh, during the show here, because I agree with you that uh, what when we take a look at the take a look at just simply the markets here we're up towards the 2007 highs you know in most things and yet you've got uh, folks plants companies everybody just like your father's sawmill has done it with fewer people and so to imagine that everybody is going to be somehow consumed and rehired inside those existing companies that is not going to happen. I, I agree with you. Now, there's, there's certainly room for consumption inside the housing market. So that is one area, whereas that market comes back in, the, uh, in North America, across the world, certainly in the United States, where you will see a lot of uh, jobs being consumed, whether it's directly or indirect. But that's why I believe that you have to identify, you have to create new industries out here, or you really have to expand, substantially expand existing industries. And that's where the energy sector, I believe that, number one, it is people talk about taxes, the largest absolute tax on every human being, at least in North America, are the taxes or is the price that we're paying at the pump. Oh, yeah. you, you bring that price down, you cut it in half, that puts so much money in every human being's pockets that could uh, then go either towards housing, towards living, towards whatever. That w that, and so if we can become energy independent, that expands it, that gets jobs, that c helps to fuel the housing market. And I, so I think your point is dead on accurate. And thank you for making that. At least I'm in your camp. Yeah. Stay tuned. Well, Rick it, it, it only makes a little bit too much sense. Yeah, stay tuned. Rick and I will be back. We're going to take a look at gold, 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus can Contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Millionaires are made every day. The fact is, living your dreams is possible. Someone, somewhere is going to get rich. My recommendation is, let that be you. Each day, someone is making the decision to better themselves and creating a plan to fulfill their financial dreams. Let that be you. The key to turning dreams into reality is to take massive action. Let that be you. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Master Show with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN. And I can help you with your journey to great wealth. I'll show you how to create the ultimate financial edge, a set of tools, insights, and strategies that are part of my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. You'll have direct access to me by phone, email, and my private library of trading and investing secrets for 30 days with an unconditional money-back guarantee. I'll take your trading to the next level. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage at TFNN.com and turn your dreams into reality. Mastering Probability, folks. Let that be you. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the Money Master Show. Look who we found out here. We found a, uh, diamond, a diamond who, in the rough. Look who the cat dragged in. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, folks? Uh, great back. to be with you. Yeah, uh, totally, man, totally. It was great. Hey, we're we're joined. We got uh, we got uh, Rick on the line as well. Oh, I love it. You know, it's, so that's it's good. a beautiful thing. And I had a really great conversation about the uh, just simply in general, just simply about the market environment. Okay. You know, and I, I talked this morning when I was kicking off the uh, nine o'clock show. Uh, just simply, always talking about opportunity, what have sure. you. But there's this great Japanese, uh, Japanese Chinese proverb. It says, "Those who play the game don't see it cl as clearly as those who are watching." And what I really meant by that is it's really important while you're in the game to be able to step back, take right. a look, and see what you're doing, or or those that are around you that's right. to you know give you some some input. Right. You know because that's why I always think in business the most important question is you know what business are you in, what business should you be in. Sure. It helps you to step back. And Rick was making really a great point, which was. You know, with uh, with regard to automation that's out there in the world today, right? You know, and he was taking a look at his uh, father's uh, sawmill business or, or yes. you, uh, older saw, uh, business. Okay, and you know, you take a look at the markets today. You know, we're up near the highs. You know, uh, unemployment is you know still a real problem out yeah. there. Where are all the jobs going to come from? Right. You know, and and I said to him, I said, I, I you know, well, tie, tie, I, I agree. Tire opportunity funds higher than everyone. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Well, and, and I, so I said, <laughs> real estate, okay. Totally. Real estate's an area where you'll see some consumption. And then just if we get energy independent, create, truly expand an industry out right. there or industries out there, that's where, that's where, that's where you got to go. No, no, no doubt. No so doubt. I thought he made a really excellent point out there. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, brother? 
Hey, hey, hey welcome, uh, welcome to your show, Tom. <laughs> it's a beautiful hey, uh, name. I'm looking at I'm looking at the GLD, and maybe you know it's it's a little simpler to to look at, at the gold contract. You know. We've got the GLD well, up on the screen, I can so it's both, cool. it, you know, it just happened. That's what I was just finishing an interview because the whole world thinks it's going to matter whether Romney or uh, Obama gets elected for gold. Because I just finished that one. I got another one with the Wall Street Journal, and I'm telling them all, "Hey, it's going south." So <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so what yeah, are you well, looking at? Well, especially if Romney gets in, because he, he's going to get rid of Bernanke, and then the easy money's gone. But he can't that ain't even he can't, close. He, that he that can't is such of, a that, he that, can't get rid if of. If you him. believe that, that's hilarious. Don't don't that that that. Let me tell you something. If you listen to Wall Street, okay, and it continue, loves being addicted to crack, free money, okay. There's there's there's, there's no way that that would happen. I, I understand that that's the deal that he's pushing out there, okay? But yeah, yeah, it's not even close. He doesn't even have the authority, or the power to do that. It's not even close yeah. anyway. So, it's, uh, it, it's 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 not even close. You know, and it, it, the whole thing it doesn't matter. It, so you know. so anyway, the GLD um, on a on a like a I think it was a one year monthly. Okay. Okay. And I and I think um, I mentioned I can't remember if you were there that day, uh, Tom or not, but. We broke the 160 level on, uh, in August. We broke June on lighter volume. So to me, that means, you know, so, so at some point we're going to pull back to 160 and maybe a little bit less. Yeah. And on a daily, we've just confirmed an ABC down, and I don't have the exact measurements on my cursor here. Yeah. Right now. I'm looking, I can just ballpark it for you that, you know, 153 is on the horizon here. So what you have is that, you know, we, we took out the B point, took it out with conviction. And what gold loves to do is more than a one-to-one -one ABC on the way up or the way down. Yeah. You know? Yes. And, and, and on the way down, the one to one point six one eight would be one fifty two. So one fifty two, one fifty three. Right. I suspect right. that that's really where it wants to get to. On right. uh, the GLD, you've got a high volume bar out there on yeah. July thirteenth. That's in that same general area, one fifty to one fifty five. So I think that's you know that's what you that's, that's what you need to be yeah. you know taking a taking a look at. At least in my opinion. Not no, I, I, it, it, that, that's that's it. And, and you know, what, I, what you had, folks, is this, okay? The last acceleration up was huge, and you've got to build costs for a couple of years, and that's what we're doing. You know, and yeah. we're, we're, we're over a year right now. I mean, and, you know, I think once we get down to 1550, Mark, 1523, then I think um, it's going to be real up to 2200, and that's going to, that'll take another year or something, but that'll be a real move. No, you know? yeah, be, yeah. And, and part of that is because just simply the velocity of cash. A total. So there is total. so much cash that we know that's out there. Right. That when that cash starts coming out of the mattresses sure. and starts going into the marketplace, and we start to see interest rates uh, just simply be at more normal levels and <sighs> just inflation and things of that sort, you know, the metals will move higher. And, and it's a time deal. Yes. See, I mean, because when you look at it, twenty two hundred won't be a huge amount of money even three years from now. Right. It just won't be. You right. know, and and that's the that's that's the the, the the logic correlation too, folks. Okay, that's just kind of how it goes. So. Well, the nice thing is there is volume up there. Oh yeah, listen, man, this thing. It, it, there, there's no doubt that there's no way that you know you can have this easy money policy forever. I mean, the money's going into real estate right now, which it should, you know, because you can make money hand over fist and money on your money versus gold. But bottom line is that gold will be there because when you can move up 50% off 1500 that's a good move. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. You stay right there. Good Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, appreciate you growling and prowling with us, folks. We're going to be coming right back. You've heard Tom O'Brien on the air, and you've seen him on Tiger TV, as well as being featured as a regular CNBC guest and contributor. And now you can have access to his expert trading advice each morning through his daily trading newsletter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading stocks, options, and indices every market day. Market Insights comes out each market day before 9.30 a.m. and provides Provides traders with Tom's daily commentary, opinion, and specific trade recommendations on the markets. Using advanced Fibonacci methods, volume indicators, Gartley patterns, candlestick charting, gaps, and market timing, Market Insights will give you specific trade recommendations including entry, stop, and exit prices. The summer is over and traders are back. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com.
If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Right now, we get the Dow down uh, 26. S&Ps are uh, down two. We get the Nasdaq up four. Of course, we get the elections tomorrow. You know it's going to be goodness. wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I will tell you, <laughs> seriously, uh, well, pretty wild though. Okay, so picture on Friday, folks. On Friday, what you had is this. I mean, I think this market's going to bounce. I think we're doing the B to C of an ABC down, but it wants to bounce. Oh, no question. You know, so <laughs> it's going to be wild. And the thing, the, the thing is mostly wild to me is that is that they think there's going to be a difference. You know, what who gets elected. Yeah, and it, it is not, folks. The thing that's amazing, okay, the market is its own animal. <clears throat> that's okay? right. And you've got to wrap your head around this thing because if you think that you know, listening to the news, okay, as the one person or the other person is going to get elected and make you money, you're out of your mind. Now, okay? what, you, what you have to understand, folks, I mean, we're we're in the same office, but we're so busy doing separate things. That oftentimes we don't even get a chance to see each other. We haven't really right. seen much no, of each other. No, for a week. Really, no, yeah, especially I know. With, with last week. Right. And so, but to just to understand how in sync we are in thought right. with regard to that. Right. You know, and if you read my newsletter, which is pretty long. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm also calling for a, a, a bounce. Right. How, how high it's hard, you know, I can't, right. gauge, can't gauge the depth or the, That's height, right. the height of it. We know the volatility is going to come in. That's right. Yeah. But I do expect it. And it's regardless of who. Totally. It has nothing to do it doesn't. With, with, with who's going to win here in the United right. States, as well as the sell-off that I expect. Right. After Afterwards. That. Exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is actually the bigger part of the deal, in my opinion, is yeah. the, the sell-off afterwards, not so much this bounce, I, the, which the, could be large. No, I don't know where no, what it's going to be. Absolutely. But the bigger move is I actually know. the next move. It is. No, it absolutely so, is. so it's kind of, because we haven't really 
really had that, a chance to even talk I, about it. I know. It no, and, and, it, and it's strange. Let me tell you, because you know what happens in a time like this, even, you know, I'm giving you that message, but even the calisthenics in, in my own head, when I'm looking, I'm saying, myself, I can't believe this. This thing's going to bounce. Because yeah. on Friday, I could see it. It was pulling back. What happens, folks, is that, is that the, the way that the, um, the, the market came up there on Friday yeah. and that back down, that back down, that wasn't enough. Right, 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 and, right. And, right. and it, that, all of that did is back down to get, get going, man. It, it, was, a, it was enough price-wise to say, uh, yeah, geez, yeah, you know? to discourage to all you bulls. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And now, now what was cool was, you know, when I did uh, your show on Thursday, you were at, up in, well, you were up in Boston. You know, doing the uh, Tiger Real Estate. Uh, that's right. You're preparing, that's right. You're preparing right. for that. And we had one heck of a nice up move. Oh, yeah. And, right. and Candle Wise created some really nice candle pens, which okay. ended up being negated. Right. Uh, in fact, so when I'm doing your show, I'm taking a look at this, and my expectation still was yeah. this market's going to bounce into next week, and right. then we're going to see a big sell-off. But then right. all of a sudden, that candle showed up on Thursday, right. which was which is very powerful if you go back and you take a look at it previously when okay. other bottoms were made. Okay. And in my mind, I'm saying, man, I know this thing. I, I'm thinking, well, actually, it's kind of like, thank goodness for Friday's candle, because yeah. what it did was it totally erased Thursday's move altogether. Oh, And it kind of took yeah, out, yeah, it yeah, took yeah, out yeah, an yeah. area that I was most concerned about. Yeah. Oh, what a riot. Uh, no, no, totally. Because, uh, yeah, so, anyways, that, that's no. what was going through my mind. Right. Because all across the board, the move on Thursday, now, some of it was maybe some pent-up, you know, because of the issues of, uh, you know, when the market did reopen on Wednesday and mutual funds that had to sell. That's right. Or, or you know, if they wanted to take some tax losses, you had, uh, um, perhaps you had insurance companies that might have had to want to sell some assets just depending That's on what's right. coming in the Northeast. That's right. You know, and Wednesday's market really didn't move a, a whole lot, which no. was kind of unusual. Well, and, and the market had already... Done what it had to do in the downside. It hit all That's, the numbers. That, yeah. Oh, it did. Yeah. You it know? made ABCs right. down and so forth. And yeah. And yeah. once you start banging off these numbers, folks, okay, you just pay attention to them because what ends up happening is the trade is paradise. That's the bottom line. And we're in, and that, that's where I can tell you that, as Steve's saying, uh, this. This is a B to a C of a much larger ABC down. When these numbers start hitting, folks, they'll hit for the next year, year and a half. That's how it goes. Yeah. So they, you know, whatever that cycle is, it, it comes in, and when it comes in, it is. Yeah. yeah. Now, the, the beauty of Friday morning was uh, the last time the jobs report was out, October 5th, you did your workshop. That's for all right. The folks that bought Tiger that's Dollars. That's right. Oh, that's and, cool. That was a month. Okay, cool. I was okay. wondering how long that was. Yeah. Right? So you did it October the 5th. So it was first Friday of each, right. of each month. This right. is a holiday or something. And uh, so, and, and here on Friday, what we had was we had the uh, market actually uh, move up. I don't know if it's on this chart, it might be on another one. So as I was coming into the 9 o'clock show, it had made, the ES Mini had made a 1 to 1.272A to B equals CD. It was this wide-ranging right. bar that came up there. It was yeah. just like October 5th. Right. And it also gotten into extreme overbought territory. Yeah. You know, and I said to folks, okay, so the market is going to pull back here. See, right. they got to pull back, move sideways, but the run to the upside should be over for the time being here. Now, I didn't expect it to necessarily pull all the way back. But it, but it did, and so you know, so be it. And actually, the, like I said, to me, that the benefit was that he raised that candle from Thursday. Yes. To to at least in my mind to be able to say, okay, I'm still on track here for the market. The next leg down, you know, it's going to be a big a doozy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I can't wait to we'll hear whatever. Seventy five percent of the time. Seventy five percent of the time. It's just you know the uh, you know on Jobs Friday the market pulls back, closes yeah. lower. Why? That, no matter what the news is, it's not it doesn't matter whether because I go back to you know the last number of events where there's been good news and there seemed to be some potentially good news, right? You know, on Friday, it doesn't matter. It just gets consumed and boom. Oh yeah, and and it, the the correlation that it, just keep your head wrapped around that dollar, folks, because this dollar is vibrant. It wants to move. It's going to move big time, and you know the movement's already started. Now the real key, the next key is going to be. How do we hit this 84 level in the dollar? Yeah. You know, because what we, ha what we have done is this. On this correction, this was the least amount we've pulled back in the last two and a half years. Okay. Off okay. this leg. Okay. 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 So okay. it's like it's, it, it can, it's set up to get over the 84 and get to 89. And if it does that, then watch out. Then you're going to talk about a vicious leg down, you know. And it's very possible. So here, let's talk about time-wise something. Time-wise, the way this would go, I suspect, is that that leg really wouldn't start with a vengeance until the middle of January. Okay. 
That's as far the, as the leg, next leg up. The next leg down. Oh, the okay, next, the, I was talking what, the dollar. Uh, ne- yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. What, what, what would end up happening is that you, you, you have some high volatility. Um, you know, it gets to 82, 84, and yeah, you'd have a couple legs down in between it, but it's probably consolidate on this leg. That's yes. what I'm thinking. Yeah. You're building cars. And what happens, folks, is that uh, the, and the reason I'm saying the middle of January, that's a very dangerous time in the marketplace. You know, if there's two dangerous times, you have July and the middle of January is, you know, and the middle of January is never as advertised as much as, you know, coming into the, but I'll tell you, I've seen some vicious downdrafts. Yeah. They come in, and when they come in, there's nothing, because there's nothing saving at that point, because see, all the money's in. The IRA money's in. Right, Every, right, Everything's right, in. Right, so right, right. if the ammunition gets in and it's not there, well, you know, and if you are new to the markets, folks, the middle of January is going to be here in a heartbeat. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's Which, for sure. It, it's crazy, but it really is. I mean, we're what November fifth today, right? Yeah, you know. So yeah. So so uh, you did a event uh, in uh, Boston. Now, yep. When you when you were flying up there, because you were dealing with the airports to a certain extent along the northeast side of the coast, really just kind of coming back online, or you had so many canceled flights. Right. Well, right. What, what was your experience flying in and not well? Well, first the, of all, the, the airlines did, gouged did, did, us. Okay. For sure. The, the gouging of the airlines. And no wonder why everyone can stand the airlines. They definitely gouged. Like like twice as much or more? You think? Twice as much. Twice as much. Twice okay. as much for sure. For, for uh, any kind of last minute tickets or it anything? It was just that. I kept going on every day. It was almost the whole thing. They ended up being, yeah, they got okay. it big time. Um, you know, and it was it was easy going in and out. It was, okay. Yeah. So, so even traffic coming out of Boston was, was... There was a lot of... On the way coming home, there were, there were a lot of people that were coming out of New York and went to Boston to get out of there. Okay, yeah. You know, there's, there's no doubt. You know what I mean? But And they're, they're playing with full. Yeah, okay. You know? And the area that you, had, uh, that you were in uh, for the... Uh, for they, the event, it they was didn't okay. get touched. They didn't, yeah, okay. no, you know, they didn't get touched. You know, poor New York. I mean, New York, they're, they're, New York, they're, New Jersey, just they're, they're in trouble. Incredible. They're in trouble. They're they're in trouble. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Yeah. You know. And so, so you've got some other events that are coming up. That's that folks right. Can participate. If in. you happen to be in, let's see, uh, the next, I'm going to be in San Jose next Thursday night. Okay. San Jose, California, and then I'm going to be if you have, if you're in San Francisco, I'm going to be at the Gold Show Friday. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be in Denver, Colorado. So if you want some information about the fund, folks, you can email us at tigerfund at tfnn.com. You can also just go under the, go in the, uh, at the TFNN, you go read that white paper. Um, yeah, bull, bull market in Florida housing. Right. Just housing right. in general. In general, so. right. And you've got, you know, funds kicked off. You're buying, oh, yeah, no, buying we're, homes. You're seeing, you're seeing, you know, in, you know, you got different phases of the program. It's a 24 hour deal right now. Yeah. And we're having fun. Yeah. That's you know? good. That's so, good. And it, it's a unique opportunity, folks, in Florida. This, this opportunity is not across the country. And what it had to do with is that it had to do with the, um, year and a half that they stopped foreclosures because of the robo signing. That, that was a yeah. big part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, you can't do this in Boston, you can't do it in Cali. We're in a unique situation. But if you uh, are an accredited investor and you have an interest in it, just come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit the uh, Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund uh, and, and check like out. And like any business that you get into, once you're in it, you know, there's always things maybe a little bit different than what you thought. Oh, yeah. You know, that's, you know that's, and this you're, you're experiencing just simply the ability to be able to make some money by being able to... Immediately. Yeah. Right. ASAP. Which, right. Right. That's just, that's why I'm not sleeping. <laughs> uh, which, which is great because it shows you the underlying demand that's actually out there. Exactly. You know, exactly. still maybe folks that aren't resourceful enough or have the available cash to participate in the in the existing market that you're in and buying them off of the doorsteps. That's right. But they still have the creditworthiness and some cash in order to participate on the other side oh, to be exactly. able to buy, uh, exactly. and, yeah. and which it, is nice it, to have that kind of demand it is. also behind it. It's nice having the wind at your back. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. That's a, that's a different ball game, uh, you know, it, when the bottom is in. And the bottom's definitely in. It's not even, like, close. Yeah. You know? so, that's pretty cool. And what, what does happen, you know, the hardest thing, and which is interesting, is that um, if you saw folks, now, the, the folks in Florida know where we are, I mean, meaning Pinellas County. Pinellas County is absolutely beautiful. But the, the, the hardest thing is for folks across the country to really understand the quality of the house and the quality of life. Yes. You know, because you, whether it's in California, Denver, or Boston, um, or just about anywhere else, is that, you know, for what they're, they're buying, closets, for what we're buying. Okay. 
So it's just the first square foot. Well, uh, you know, yeah, and then, it, right. It, it, you know, it's like, you know, my daughter was up in Boston. You know, she's she works for a large corporation in Boston. So she happened to be at the workshop. She's looking at me like, oh my god. So I mean, you know, up in well, Boston. Because you're showing you're showing some of the properties yeah, she's, that you just she's looking, purchased. She's looking at houses, you yes. know, in Boston to buy right now. Okay. She's thirty. Yes. Thirty for twenty nine. And she said, Oh my God, I can't believe this. I mean, she's going to have to pay, you know, 350000 400000 for a house. Yes. And, you know, down here, you get a mansion for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, at, at 200 it's gorgeous. Never mind 400 Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you see that, it's like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. yeah. That's just the way it is. It's, it's, it, it's a different market and always has been. And uh, it, you know, we'll see what it always will be. It's hard to tell. I, I think a couple of different things are going to happen with this storm up north. Okay. Um, that people are going to really, uh, some people are going to understand, like, what am I doing? You know, because, of course, if you move to Florida, you're always worried about hurricanes. But what has happened is that we've actually got less than they have, depending where you are, okay? But on, on our coast, it's very hard to hit where we are. And the reason being is that, Usually when, it comes in further south. It comes in further you know. south, and what ends up happening in order to hit the Tampa area it has to come up the Gulf and then take a sharp right. Yes. The sharp right is the big deal. You know, there, now there's no doubt if we got hit, yeah, you get wiped out if it was a direct hit. There's no two ways about that. Yeah. But I think what people have learned, and that they better learn uh, where they are, you know, is that they're, you know, that, that water's dangerous. Yeah. Well, you know? that, yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. There's certainly a storm surge. Yeah. And, and that's the you biggest know. thing. That's always the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, and, and unfortunately, you know, they could have done something about it in the New York area. I think they will this time. They're going to have to. They're going to have to this time, you know, because they, you know, I, I was reading the the barriers that they could put up would be $10 billion. Well, that's nothing. Okay, yeah. I, I saw some early yeah. reports on right. that. And then, uh, $10 billion. Yeah. So that $10 billion is uh, pocket money. Right. Really? Well, when you when you can when you consider, yeah, when, especially when you consider everything that's that's right. And just a know, break. Just, it doesn't mean that they have to work 100 percent either. It just means that you're breaking the water yeah. for that, you know, 40 to 50 minutes. Because if you've ever been in a, in a surge, I've been in two surges. It blows your mind, folks, because you're looking at it, and all of a sudden, in two seconds, you get 10 feet of water. Sure. And you better get out of the way, you know, because it's dangerous and it goes out just as quick, but the destruction it does in between it, you know, is just amazing. So. Yeah, there there was a uh, prior to the storm hitting uh, last Monday evening, Tuesday. Uh, there were, you know, there were folks who were talking about oh, maybe this is just going to be hyped, you know. And, and the folks I talked to, I said, this this one is so real. Yeah, you because just if you look just, at it. if you and if you just took a look at the type of damage it had done up in down the eastern seaboard beaches, right? What you could exactly. see was such major erosion, right? We, without the storm even hitting the area, that it was so far out. I know that that you were just like, man, this is going to be, this is going to be yeah. very, very bad. Big, big number. You know, wherever, big wherever it comes in. Yeah. So. And because remember when we were on the air, we were talking, folks. The the, the storm had been five hundred miles out in the Gulf, and it was windy here for two days. Oh, it's yeah. like that never happens. Yeah, you know, so. Big yeah. numbers, no Thank doubt. goodness they they canceled the uh, marathon. Oh, that was that was a that, that was a nuts thing. Bloomberg, you know Good King Lord. Bloomberg. Oh man, I, I can't wait till that guy's gone. I, I don't I don't know why. <laughs> Steve Ruth, Tom O'Brien, we appreciate all you tigers and tigers and growling and prowling with us out here. We have the dollar down eight. Nasdaq is up nine. Looking to be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the technical corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for.
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to Mastering Probability today. Because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Don't forget, folks, uh, Steve kicks us off each and every trading day, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We do nine hours of live programming uh, per day. You can get all of that program by coming uh, on your, uh, your cell phone, on your smartphone. Just put tfnn.mobi in that browser. I, I heard on uh, Friday, yeah. so as I was uh, you know, heading out of town, I was right. listening to you and uh, David. Yes. And it uh, almost sounded like maybe you were waffling on getting a, uh, a new iPhone. You were thinking of maybe the new, uh, one of the other phones, maybe. Oh, yeah, no, Good. I'm not getting an iPhone. No, you're not. Okay. No, no. I wasn't Just Tom, everybody else. In, yeah, just Tom, everybody else. In the, okay. Everyone else you, is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what it was? You were, uh, you were going to, you were, you, it was going to be interesting, your conversation maybe between you and Angie. And, and about Tommy. IPhone. And Tommy. Okay. Okay. Because what was happening that's is that, a, okay, the, that's, what, that's what it was, is my son, we, both of our phones are up. We both have uh, HTCs. So I, I want, and that's going to be that's what we were talking about yeah, before. Okay. Is that if he goes with the iPhone, it's going to be interesting. Do you know what I mean? To see that, okay, or does he go with the Galaxy? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I think it's you know I've seen the Galaxy. I like it. So we'll see what happens. Well, you start, I, just I, take a look at the numbers. The numbers of phones, you know, being oh, bought yeah. out there. You know, versus Apple versus no uh, doubt, yeah, no doubt. And well, you know, it's going to be. I mean, the 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 setup on Google technically is a good setup, folks. But I can tell you. On a fundamental basis, they're going to be getting a lot of heat um, because what has happened is this, is that their ad buying program and their logarithm program yes. and all of that, yes. what has happened is that the amount of uh, press that I've seen that people have actually got hurt pretty heavily okay. out of nowhere, right? 
uh, with them changing the structure is is kind so of hurt, hurt from a standpoint of where they were positioned during these normal searches. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay. That's okay. correct, and it's pretty dramatic. And, yeah, and most of because it because they're always changing their algorithms on that, how they get folks up to the uh, top out. There. They are, yeah. and where they, I, I, where I think they probably have made a mistake, and this is where they're going to get nailed, is because they're selling so many products themselves now. Yeah, if they all they have to do is prove that okay, is that you know X company got nailed and. Google plus a company is getting the business off that. Yeah. And if they can prove that, uh, they're going to have some problems. Because mm, mm. um, over the weekend, uh, I get advertising age, and uh, there, was a, there was a couple of really good articles explicitly what happened, how it happened, yeah. and what's in, in, in there now. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's going to be a close call. And I think that's going to be the next thing. They'll take they'll take another six months a year, but I, I get a feeling they're going to get nailed on that. Yeah. And yeah. if they get nailed on it, that's going to change the dynamic flat out for them because uh, you don't want the feds after you. You know. No, they, no, it, no. It, it, it didn't work it, real well for Microsoft it, it, uh, exactly. for all those years. It, and, exactly. Yeah. You know. So we'll see whether they can change it quick enough to uh, not have that happen. But I, I get a feeling there's there's too many cases out there right now. Because remember when, when this first happened with three or four years ago, you know, what happens, folks, is that you, you never get an answer off Google. We did huge amounts of advertising on Google. You just never get an answer off them. And then one day, it just happened two different times. Like, you know, I think my we were spending 750 a day, uh, you know, to basically get, you know, get listeners. Yes. And then all of a sudden... The 750 got spent in about three and a half minutes on right. two separate days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to get the money back. They, no one's talking to me. I said, you know, I'm done with that. Yeah, and yeah, that sure, happened to a sure. lot of people. For, do you know what sure, I mean? It's like, sure. And what that had to do with is people were gaming the system. Now, what went on after that is this, this other positioning. And this other positioning is really a problem for small companies, for big companies, too, for any company. You know, but if you, you, you know, so... I think they're when the rules of the game change, then it changes up everything that you've got to do. And if you're Especially depending, you work on, so hard to be able to get up there. And if you're depending on them, right. which a lot of these other companies are, you're yeah, done. Absolutely. You stay right there, folks. We get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Then uh, Larry Presavento, what twelve to one? Daryl Martin, one to two. David White, two to three. California, Ken Shreve, and back here, four to six. Take care, folks. Have a great day.